Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to view this research with an open mind. Welcome everyone. Angela Wade, thank you so much for the generous contributions and for being also a part of the community, for commenting such amazing comments. Thanks for being there, thanks for connecting, and please do stay in touch. A quick explanation of what I'm going to show in this video. I am going to get in excessively close, so um, yeah, at one point you're going to have to sit three feet away, meaning just sit back in a chair, you know, just don't lean or slouch like we all lazily do sometimes, or if you're like me, I mean, I'm watching the moon, I'm slouched over, my chin's on the table, and I'm looking at the screen real close. So yeah, sit back, because sometimes you must all know yourselves, or even try it sometimes. A big screen is not the best, depending on how close or not you are zoomed into the surface. Sometimes a smaller screen is a lot clearer. So you have that choice of putting it full screen or small screen. I suggest that you watch both of them. So blah, 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 I'm going to get some music up, um, you know, to relax while you're watching the surface. And I'll get some um, arrows up on Mariserenitatis. We're going to zoom into Mons Argeus, etc. Theophilus Crater, very interesting surrounding. And um, a, a bit of an explanation on how we can see objects smaller than a mile. Hmm, interesting.
there are colors up there. We see a different change here in the intensity of the color because I simply played with the exposure. No saturation whatsoever, no need. We are going to see some very fine detail. Um, the exposure is adjusted superbly. You know, when the telescope is moving across the moon, the intensity of light obviously changes. Once the telescope is off the moon, we're off the moon right now, and the exposure is placed enough for us to keep a surface view of the color, everything, because the surface is very, very colorful. We're gonna see some craters that I've never seen before because I wasn't close enough and there wasn't enough exposure. So that's why the moon is always different when we zoom in. I'm gonna get an arrow up, check out while I'm talking to you, check out the amazing series of craters. I think and they're not craters, but they're like domes, very perfect domes, six or seven of them, all placed side by side, very interesting. Here they are. Now here's the cool part, guys. Things appear when you get in real close, meaning the objects of a quarter mile that I can get further out, when I zoom in, I can now get less than a quarter mile so for those who think that I can't get in that close, let's just be honest and say what is what. I can get under a mile. So that's pretty good with a 14 inch. Obviously, if we double the 14, we would get into interesting, um, we'd be able to see in meters. This would be amazing. 